they say a lot, they're much of Lake Superior is frozen. I still wouldn't walk across it, okay? Don't do it. Hey, Saturday is going to be just cold. Very cold winds once again from the northwest. We'll bring in another bit of Arctic air, and then here comes another clipper, and that will be running in on Sunday with another few inches of snow. And then behind that clipper uh, early next week, for especially Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday morning, just very, very cold temperatures with the mid-teens for lows overnight, and we won't even break zero during the day on Monday and Tuesday. The winter weather advisory for tonight runs until midnight. Again, we're going to see about an inch or two of snow winds up to 25 miles per hour. Here is Viper Radar. You can see the snow continuing from the northwest to the southeast across the area. Here's the thicker snow band. We got broken snow bands of snow showers uh, behind that. And pretty much uh, the, the heavier snow bands from southern Milwaukee County, south of I-94, all the way to the Illinois border. When I say heavy, this might be an inch as it passes through. And then you could see another dusting to a half an inch with the snow bands to our north. Can you check out these temperatures? warmest temperatures of the whole week. Look at Port Washington and West Bend all the way up to 27 degrees, 26 right now in Milwaukee. That's the high for the day, 27 in Whitewater. Madison has jumped to 29 degrees. It's in the low to mid 30s out west. Wind speeds have dropped down a little bit, still 20 mile per hour wind speeds in Milwaukee and Burlington and Lake Geneva, gusting to about 28 to 30 miles per hour. Our overnight low temperatures, believe it or not, not below zero tonight, uh, 12 degrees by the morning hours, 10 in Waukesha, 9 West Bend, also Beaver Dam, and also out in Watertown. But as that cold front rolls through overnight tonight, we're going to see the cold air pushing in. It drops temperatures all day tomorrow, and then here comes the next Alberta Clipper. Saturday night into Sunday, I think most of the snow will be in the early part of the day. And then this next high pressure system out of Canada brings in some very cold air to start next week. So Saturday's high temperatures, 14 in Milwaukee, then everything drops during the day. 10 Madison, 10 Green Bay, but by late in the day, it'll be down to the low single digits. Sunday's highs back up to 18 in Milwaukee with light snow, a couple inches, 22 in Madison, 23 in La Crosse, staying cold though up north. So winter weather advisory till midnight, another inch of snow on top of what you already have. Uh, temperatures get up to about 30 by midnight, then drop to 12 by the morning hours, and it stays a bit windy. The winds will shift from southwest to northwest. 14 tomorrow in the morning hours, dropping to 3 by 4 o'clock. Still windy, wind chills to 15 below zero. Tomorrow night, we drop to 2 below, but clouds will start to roll in. We'll get some light snow, maybe an inch by Sunday morning, another couple inches during the day on Sunday with a high of 18 degrees. And that will feel balmy compared to the next few days in our 10-day outlook. We don't get above zero both Monday or Tuesday and as low as 16 below on Tuesday morning, 11 below on Wednesday morning. But then temperatures start to jump up back to about 25 degrees by next Saturday. So another big blast of very dangerous cold air. We could see wind chills early next week in the 30 to 35 below zero range. So.